Hello, I'm Ed Trilism and welcome back, of course, to Into the Breach, where we're not doing too badly so far. We are about to come up to the end of the third island, using, of course, the uh, default starting. I think it's the Rift Walkers or something like that, but in orange, because we do like orange. We also have, uh, I believe, a couple of spare people. Temporal reset we just put in, just so good. Plus two mech HP is kind of too good to switch out for you. As much as that would be tempting. That HP is just too good. So what we will do instead... Is we're going to go and we're going to do cold storage. Which is end battle less than four mech damage and protect the coal plant. And we get power. Now I have been told by the way, people in the comment section were helpful. If we have full grid power and we get more grid power... And in fact, just gets added to grid defense, which is actually great. You know, that's that's fine by me. So let's get started. Okay, it's a frozen cannon mech. So it's an enemy if it gets unleashed. What are you? Alpha Leaper. Five damage. Alpha Firefly, three. Normal Firefly and Shell Sion, which, you know, needs to die. And those are kind of blocking my route. So... Well, you can leap, so it doesn't really matter what I do here. Pod? Ooh, yay! I like pod. You've worked that. It's actually going to be a fairly tough one. Uh, right, you go to here, punch that. That means that they can be injured. I don't know what to do about you. I could go here and not punch you and just deploy something that does like a bouncy thing. What are they acting? Um, one, two, can't act. Three, so you're going first. I think I have to use artillery to push you back. That's one of the few things I can do, right? Use artillery to push you back. You can't really do anything. Like, if we move you here, you'll just get shot by the Alpha Firefly. We could unleash one of these deliberately and then kill it. That's that's actually a fine option. We can move to here, we could shoot that, break the ice, then you shoot it, kills it. That's That's okay. Right, so you've got artillery here. Boom, you get pushed back. We move forwards, we punch you. Or we move forwards, we deploy tank. I prefer deploying the tank because we can get the tank out early. Then you move to here, shoot that. Okay. Tank is out. We could push you. Could push you. Not really much use. Unless we shoot you to here, and then you could push the firefly to here. Yeah, because always that will shoot the building behind us. That's a good plan, right. <clears throat> right, you move to there. Right, let's end our turn.
Hmm. I think I go here, I shoot you sideways. That way, this gets blown up. So that's dealing with that. Uh, you kind of feel we leave. We could punch you. And then shoot you. And then artillery could deal with that. <clears throat> What's your attack? Three and fire. And then you'd kill that, I think. Yes, okay, right. So we move you to here, we shoot you. That deals with this. Over here, you need to punch to begin with. Then we shoot you sideways. And then... There we go, end turn. <clears throat> right. That dies. That dies. You miss. Now this is a problem here because you will run straight through here to the coal plant, which we can't have go down. What I'm thinking is we push you here. Uh, we could take the charge of this. It's just a beetle, right? It does one damage and a push, which is fine. We could just take that. Or we could just shoot the beetle. From here, bam, beetle goes down here. You move to here. Shoot there, three damage, burning as well, which is good. Um, what order are you acting in? You're acting f two. What if we put a cannon round on you? You took a damage, great. Pushes this to here, which means that you'll shoot the beetle. How much damage do you do? One? I need to do more damage. Hmm. All straight up. We could just try and push you sideways a lot. Like, we could go here, we could punch you to here, then we could push you to here. That might be the best plan, actually. Because then you're blocking this, and you'll die from the extra damage, or no, you'll be one health off. Okay, you'll be one health off dying. <clears throat> and then... We push you with an RT shot. We've got to push you with an RT shot. Because otherwise you'll die to here. And then that leaves you spare to do basically whatever we want with. Okay. So we know we're playing for the RT shot. So let's play the RT shot first. And then... And then you can play effectively anything... It's a shame that you're acting at four. Or is it? Oh, you'll actually move before that emerges. Okay. That's fine. Uh, right. In which case, we've got a shot here. Shoot you. And turn. Oh, I forgot that was going to the water. Oh, yes. 
Sweet! Are you three health? You two, okay. Uh, I, what I think we do is we drop an arty here. We... I might have to find a way to kill you. Hmm. Oh, no, we can... Right, we shoot you back to here. And then we use your shot to bounce you to here. Right, so these two can deal with that. The RT pushes these back. And then you kill that one. Let's double check I got the master right on this one. Uh, no, no, you shoot. Right. Yes, you. if you got bounced back, you'd still shoot this. Okay, that doesn't work. New solution. Um... We can need to punch you. It's one of the few solutions here. So you punch that. Right, you die. You go to here, you push that to there. If you're pushed to here, we drop an arty shot on you. We could block your attack, but you are three damage. That would probably negate this by that point. What order are you attacking in? Two, four. All right, well, what if we go here? We push you to here. You kill that one for us. You punch that one. That leaves us with these two to defeat this guy. That's actually really easy. That's done. So let's just double check this. You move to there. You push that to there. You kill that one. Easy. Yeah, I don't see a downside to this. You'll kill that. We kill that. And you... There's so many ways to kill you. Because you'll die from fire if you do one damage. But mostly because I can. I'm going to push you. And then because you're on fire, you will die next turn anyway. Because of the fire. Sweet. End turn. Fire, you die. You shoot that one. You die. End. There we go. Beautiful. That is how it's done. And we've got a pod. we got a reactor core. Sweet. And seismic activity. Okay. Drawn out by your... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Vec leader. Okay. Uh, right. Let's see. What do I want to spend that reactor core on? We could take the health away, take the building immune away, and we could get the extra damage. Which is three damage on the center. It's only on the center, though, so... We could put it here to get a move. We could take the tank health, we could get the dash. Oh yeah. I've got to remember the dash now. That's just incredibly useful because it means that we can move any distance laterally up to four. And then we can charge any distance across the map in a straight line. That actually really increases our attack range. Just got to remember to use it. Uh, so, Corporate HQ, let's do it. One of our machines has somehow taken control of a Vec Hive and is assaulting Pinnacle Tower. Oh, it's a machine. Okay. Destroy the bot leader. Protect the Corporate Tower. Well, this is not good. Does four damage in a three by one. Self repair. Oh, God. Well, that's not good at all. Uh, right. Mm. 
I have to say, that's not a great starting position. We need to free you somehow. And I'm not sure how. Like, I genuinely, I, I don't know how. The only way I can think is to kill you. Because I can't push you this way without an artillery shot, which I can't make. I can't push you this way without going through my own unit, which I can't do. Um, and you're blocked that way and that way. And I can't get units over here behind you. This is going to be tough. And you're going to do five damage. <sighs> are you acting first? You are. Okay. Well, there's one way we can solve this. It's not the best way. <laughs> really not the best way. We push you backwards. You block that. But then your attack here actually hits here. Which means we get hit with four instead of five. But it also kills this Alpha Leaper. We do get hit by four damage. But it's the way out. Push you back to there. You. We can kill with a punch. There's not really another move here. And then I guess we move in here. And then because you're broken. Are you immune to water? Yes, it can walk on water. So we could push it into the water here, but it would still survive. The other choice is we could artillery it to come forward. No, I think we have to... And I don't like the idea of punching this unit. I'd much rather be able to deploy my tank. Which we can actually do. Right. I think. Maybe? Maybe not. Either way. You shoot you to there. Or we deploy our tank to there. Which does roughly the same thing. We probably want to play this now, because we can't play another move. Like, we could, you know, injure it for ourselves. That wouldn't really get us anything. I think we play this one now. Right. That solves that issue for us. You're not going to get another unit. And then... You shoot that one to there. And then we deploy the tank to here, move to here, shoot you, you die. Actually, no, you don't die. Oh well. I don't think there's another choice. There we go. If I go for the push, you'll break that ice. I could go here and do the push to here. Still doesn't get, doesn't get us the tank though, but I think that is an acceptable price. Or we could just deploy the tank and just not care what comes next. The problem is it does release that, though, this turn, if we don't punch you, and I don't think I can allow that. There we go, end turn.
Blocked enemy. Move there. And it shields up while it heals. That's fine. It doesn't mean it's very difficult to kill, but that's fine. Um, you we can kill quite easily just with you. I think we have to let this... I, I don't know a way to kill it, really, with that shield. Let's look. What does the shield do? Blocks damage and any negative effects. Only direct damage when we remove the shield. Oh. So it actually will be removed. You just have to hit it. Okay. I think we block these. I'm not sure if we really care about killing this so much as just blocking these slots, because we can. Because we move you, then we deploy the tank, then we move the tank over to block one, and the tank's... It's not great. Um... Well, you move to here. You die. Now your shield is gone. I could punch you. You know what? I'm tempted. I think we need the tank, though. And I could move the tank. Hell, I could shoot the tank to, like, you know, push this around or something. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's push you around. That way you're on weaker ice. Oh, it does repair. Oh, that sucks. I thought without the shield it wouldn't repair. Okay. Easy choice here. We RT this. You go backwards. You're hitting these. We move you. Sorted. Your damage is relatively low. That's fine. Probably punch you. So you die. And then... Oh, I can't push you back again, because then you'll hit this. Either way, I think this is an easy option. Punch you. R to you. How aren't you distance is one, two, you'd be hitting here. No. I think I have to leave you as you are there. And then oh I did that wrong. Oh no, undo move. Uh, I was gonna say we could move to I should have fired from here, then I could move to there, I could shoot you. Now I'm a little bit stuck. Uh, we could deliberately lose the tank in exchange for that. It might be worth it with two turns left. Instead, I'm actually going to move you this way. That way we'll get shoved into it. We'll take damage, but that's fine. We're very low on health. Okay. Don't know if we can defeat you this turn. I'd like to. But I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Because we're going to need to push these. How much is your damage? One. Eh. How much damage do you need? 
five, and then one to break the seal. Uh, we can do two with you. Say we do a push. Um, that's another one if we can hit, like, punch you into something. And then we do, say, a shot from you. That leaves us with two. In theory, right, in theory we could do this, but it would, it would be tough. Uh, right, so say we move the tank to here and push you. That frees you up. So move here and punch. No, because we need an extra damage. Let's see, is there a way? Like, we can, we can complete this map. We protect the corporate tower. Can we get the destroy the bot leader? That is the big question on everybody's mind right now. And by everybody, I mean mostly just mine. Um, mostly just mine. Uh, so... We could shoot you into that. That would break that one. It would mean your thing would go down. But it wouldn't do anything about these two. If we then move you around here to shoot that, that would do one damage and move you to there. That doesn't really do anything for us. Because we've still got the issue of these two. And there's no way I can get you to hit anyone else, because I need to rotate you. You're not going to go backwards and forwards far enough, and then you, you're you just not going to be able to hit anyone. Uh, you, not going to be able to hit anyone. You're aiming way too far away. You, potentially, it would be complicated. We can move to here. We could shoot you. Your shield would go down. You'd move to here. We push you. Okay. But then how are we doing damage to you? How are we also taking out this one? I think we have to accept it. I don't see a way that this is going to work. Um, we could drop an artillery on you. That would kill the tank. That's not great. That doesn't really do anything for us. It would take your shield down. It would kill that, but it would also kill a tank. Then... Don't leave us two units to kill that and move these. I don't think it can be done. I'm going to say it can't be done. Unless there's something like I'm desperately missing. I could lob around there. The most I can think, all right, is that we do something like you go to here, you shoot that, it shield goes down. Okay, cool, whatever. Um, it goes to here. You move to here, you push it to there. We go here, we lob an artillery shell. That moves you up here and moves you to there, so you're no longer a threat. You take a damage, you'll get shot by your friend. Still lives the beetle, we have to punch the beetle. It doesn't really gain us much. I think it's the move will play because it's a fine move, but I don't think it really gains us anything. The other choice is we could try and play the grid defense and leave that bug alone. I've got two turn resets. Let's use one. All right. This is the last turn anyway. We could leave this alone. We could ignore this bug. Okay. If we ignore this bug, how can we kill this? Because there's a 24% chance this will be ignored. And we can always buy back the damage for the exact same reputation that we'll get. So... We shoot, for instance, we shoot you, right? Blah, 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 blah. 
You need to be moved. The thing is, I want my punching damage on you, because punching damage is way too good for me to pass up. One, two, three, four. We can move you to here, right? One, two. I still don't see a way to do the amount of damage we need. Not with your health so low. Like, there are several ways I could do it if your health is higher. We could get, like, pushed into, pushed against people. Um, but our health is too low. I don't think we can. We can save the buildings at least, but I don't think there's any way for us to kill you. If we'd want to kill you, we should have started a lot earlier. Uh, it's a lot of damage to do anyway. I think we'd probably need a damage increase buff to really kill you. So we're just going to go back to what I did before. Oh, and you heal first anyway, so, yeah. There we go. I mean, I should be happy we did it. We just didn't do the second objective. And let's spend our rep. We got eight rep, which is pretty good. Science class weapon. Push the units. Ooh. No matching mech class. One power penalty applies. Okay. So you can use it. It just has a penalty. Okay, that's fine. Bash the enemy, flipping its attack direction. That's pretty cool. Heavy rocket. Damage three. Uses per battle one. It's only got a use per battle one. Okay. Blast all adjacent tiles for one damage and a push. That's also quite nice. And they're fairly cheap. Right. We should sell you because you're worth two rep. Okay. Bash the enemy flipping its attack direction. Cost us two, requires one power. Maybe. Explosive vents? Pretty tempting. But I think this would probably be better, because it gives us more ability to just flip enemies around, make them hit each other. And we can use it all the time. This, I don't think we could get just because of the expense involved. Like, that's effectively another three rep for this weapon. Heavy rocket once per mission. Um, Not bad. This does mean moving the tank to someone else, but I'm cool with that. And then we'll get that one. Right. You get the Spartan shield. And then gain shield. Gain the shield when bashing. Ooh, that's pretty helpful. You get the heavy rocket. 
We need to install a mech reactor here to power that. And you get tank. We take your health off. We give you an extra one. There we go. And now we have a tank. Everyone has two weapons. We could do increasing their damage output at some stage. Right now we're playing like just move around the enemy. Try and do cunning moves to get them in the water or hit each other. But this works. This works. Hopefully we can get you some more experience as well. Future planet. That's plus one use on that. Nice. Either way, we're good. We're going to leave this island. The next episode, we're on to the fourth island. I've been Andrew Elysium. If you've enjoyed, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.